President Barack Obama has delivered his final State of the Union address and used the speech to defend his legacy while aiming some pointed jabs at Republicans, and one in particular, Donald Trump. In his last year in office, Mr. Obama already faces the risk of being eclipsed by the drama of the 2016 presidential campaign, but he sought to stay relevant by mapping out his view of the America he shaped and a vision of the future. In much of what he said, he made an optimistic argument that contrasted sharply with Republicans' bleak appraisals of the state of the nation. On the economy, for example, he said talk of America's economic decline was political hot air. The United States of America, right now, has the strongest, most durable economy in the world. We're in the middle of the longest streak of private sector job creation in history. He celebrated his landmark health care reforms, which most Republicans call a failure. And on climate change, he championed the growth of renewable energy while telling Republicans that anyone who wanted to dispute climate science was becoming pretty lonely. Mr. Obama didn't mention the name of Donald Trump, but some of his sharpest lines were clearly aimed at the Republican presidential frontrunner. The president told Americans that it would be wrong to respond to unsettling changes in the modern world with fear, that they should not turn inward. When politicians insult Muslims, he said, that doesn't make Americans safer, it's just wrong. When politicians insult Muslims, whether abroad or our fellow citizens, when a mosque is vandalized or a kid is called names, that doesn't make us safer. That's not telling it what, telling it like it is. It's just wrong. It diminishes us in the eyes of the world. It makes it harder to achieve our goals. It betrays who we are as a country. Mr. Trump, for his part, tweeted that Mr. Obama's speech was boring, slow, and lethargic. Watching the speech, but these are minor details. Won't be watching the press. Actually, I probably will. No, I probably will. Probably. We got to watch. You got to watch. You got to see what the hell's going on. But the real estate mogul was also the target of a swipe from his own party. Nikki Haley, the South Carolina governor who delivered the official Republican response, said that in anxious times, Americans had to resist the temptation to follow what she called the siren call of the angriest voices. Now, having missed few opportunities to jab Republicans, Mr. Obama then made a surprising admission. He said that one of his few regrets was that during his time in the White House, the rancor and suspicion between the parties had gotten worse. Republicans say that Mr. Obama has himself to blame. Mr. Obama said that money in politics was part of the problem and vowed to spend the next year pushing for reforms to campaign finance. But the president told the American people they had a part to play too urging them to stay active in public life, to stand up for the vulnerable and not to retreat back into tribes. The 2016 presidential campaign will tell us whether his call is heeded. Barney Jobson, Financial Times, in Washington. I believe in change because I believe in you, the American people. And that's why I stand here as confident as I have ever been that the state of our union is strong. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.